Hello, I'm Ardarion, and today we're back on my little RPG-themed world, and that is because the contraption I will be presenting is also kind of RPG-themed. So the contraption is Minecraft loot bags, customizable and usable loot bags. Uh, so first let me show you how to use them and how what loot can you get from them, and then I will show you how to acquire them. So um, to use a loot bag, you just simply uh, drop the loot bag item. So uh, observe what loot do we get because it will pop up in an, in our hotbar when I drop it. So let's go, and we get all sorts all sorts of loot. So this is highly randomized and it is highly randomizable. So you can do your own custom loot and you can vary how often are you gonna get it and in what what quantities. Uh, so this time we got uh, three apples, three bread, seven golden nuggets, a piece of coal, and six arrows. So let's just put it here in this chest for now. And uh, oh, by the way, I didn't mention that was a common loot bag. That was how it was called. And there are three tiers. We have a common loot bag. We have a slightly better unusual loot bag, and the best of all legendary loot bag. So now let's use the unusual one. Okay, so as you can see, the, the loot is kind of better. We get uh, two mushroom stews and a piece of gold, six iron ingots and a cooked mutton. So um, of course, that's not all the loot you can get. I um, made it so that you can also get like enchanted pieces of armor and so on. But let's see what do we get. But um, again, this is randomized. So this was kind of a, well, it was a terrible loot, to be honest, uh, a really bad one. But let's see what do we get in the legendary one. Yeah, this is what I call a good loot. So we, we got three pumpkin pies, a rabbit stew, two pieces of gold, a diamond, an emerald, and a quite awesome rapier. So yeah, that's uh, here. You can, This is like a blank spot where you can get any type of, I don't know, legendary custom a weapon you want. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, the amount of different uh, loots you can get is well, not it's not infinite. It's like a really really big number. Uh, I didn't I didn't calculate that by the way. So now let's uh, let me show you how to acquire these loot bags. Okay, so the common loot bag drops from uh, normal mobs. Uh, but, well, not all normal mobs, n only some of them. I, I think I made uh, spiders, uh, creepers, zombies and skeletons drop the bags. And it's not also not like every mob uh, drops a loot bag because that would be too overpowered. So I think it's like a 10% chance it will drop a loot bag. So every 10 mobs you kill, you get one loot bag. Well, on, on default or on... Um, Usually just happens. Uh, so let me kill a couple of mobs here. Uh, I have no idea why it's so laggy. Maybe that's because of the huge clock I'm running in the background, but you will see that later. And um, yeah, let me just go around and kill a couple of mobs. Oh yeah, we got one. Okay, so as you can see, the skeleton dropped a loot bag, and that was uh, approximately 10 mobs I killed. So yeah, loot bags drop from naturally spawned mobs. Let's see what loot we get. Oh, that was a good one. I got like eight golden nuggets. Yay. Uh, okay, let's let me show you the other loot bags. I seem to have found a dungeon, so let's go inside and. Oh, that frame rate's really killing my computer. What is this? 60, 30. Okay, never mind. It's not killing my computer. My computer is lagging so bad, but. And the frame rate is terrible. Okay, uh, so we're in this uh, dungeon, and if we step further in, the blocks are gonna break and some guards are gonna start attacking me. So let's. Oh, 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 oh. Don't kill me. And yeah, they drop uh, unusual loot bags, and I made it so that they drop a legend, a unusual loot bag every time. And further down, 
Uh, by the way, this is just a template dungeon, obviously. I didn't put so much effort into it because, uh, yeah, I'm really kind of out of time for right now. Uh, but we have this boss. He's called the uh, Master Guard. And yeah, in a in a like real polished up dungeon, he would be defending a treasure. But here, here is he's just kind of on display, ready to attack me. So yeah, we got a legendary loot bag from him, and uh, I made it so that he drops it every time. And here we we would have like a puzzle for the dungeon or something like that. So yeah, just a just a template one, not a finished up one. Uh, so let's see what loot we get. Whoa, this was a uh, good loot. Yay. TNT. Oh, wow. I didn't know you could get TNT from a legendary loot bag. Huh. Okay. Um, okay, that was weird. I didn't know you could get it. But okay, anyways. Uh, let me get to the explanation and showing you the comment box. So we are here, well above the dungeon. I think it's about there. And funny thing, now it's not lagging at all. Uh, don't be bothered with this. this. This is just a thing I was experimenting with. But here are all the possible loots from the um, uh, loot bags. And I checked and no, you can't get uh, TNT from a legendary a treasure so it was there was something messed up there yeah now it works and uh, okay but uh, I wrote down how many you can get and uh, yeah also the types and uh, here are all the scoreboards I'm using I'm using over 33 scoreboards here so that's quite a lot and here are the command blocks I think this is the most common blocks I've ever used in a common block creation, but it was worth it. And also, these are not really that hard, like those two vary only by one number. And even though I've put them down manually, it wasn't that much of a, um, it wasn't that much work. So yeah, uh, but this big clock is lagging my world and it's kind of, kind of sad because I wanted this, this creation to be implemented on like servers and maps and if it's lagging so bad then uh, yeah it wouldn't be implemented but yeah uh, so let me let me kind of explain what is going on here basically we have these uh, 30 different scoreboards running at the same time so let's pick one let's say for the diamonds uh, so let's uh, set display the cyber to diamond and you can see that it's going from 0 to 800 and when it reaches 100, it goes back to zero. So, uh, and all of these uh, scoreboards are not synchronized. It's not that all of them are starting at the same time and ending at the same time. They kind of vary. And that is the point here, because when I get a loot bag, uh, or yeah, let's let's get a legendary one, um, throw away our diamonds. Um, basically what I'm doing here is I'm testing if a player has thrown a, a loot bag and those command blocks here check if I've thrown the, the loot bag. So yeah, you can download the map and, and kind of check them. Um, but yeah, they're testing if I've thrown an item and in that very second uh, the, command the command blocks are testing how much of this score I have. And if, to, if it is between a certain value, like for the diamonds, I think I can get up to three. So it's like uh, a range from zero to 33, it will give me one diamond. Uh, from range of zero to 66, it will give me uh, two diamonds. Or wait, actually, yeah, I, I have it configured so that it's like uh, zero to 20, then uh, zero to 40 to 60, I think so that it's kind of more rare getting the diamonds. But um, getting lower than 10 on the score is the best. Of, of course, you don't see the score, so that's why it's kind of random. But let's try to get three diamonds here. Yeah, we got them. Uh, so yeah, this is pretty cool. And you have those all of those 30 uh, scoreboards running and 
randomizing things for you and it's pretty cool. And as, you, as I said before, it is so customizable. I really like it because uh, yeah, you can set how often do you want a player not to get any item. You can set how many items uh, a player can get total, how many um, how many things he will get granted, like uh, one apple is granted in a common loot bag. And yeah, it's just so flexible and really, really cool. So yeah, hope you liked it and see you in my next video. Bye bye. And I still have the fancy pants on, the decent quality pants. Bye bye.